you know, speaking of movies, uh, I got this uh, screenplay I wrote and some yeah. new headshots. You know, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. What's up with those GoBots, Megatron? They're f***ing stupid. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Couldn't even hold on to his f***ing job. He's like Bumblebee if he was retarded. <laughs> Well, it's uh, it's morning. It's past morning almost. It's almost noon. What time is it? It's like eleven. Well, it's not snowing. I see some blue sky. So that's a plus. And uh, we're just waiting. This will be the name of the game here for probably could be could be days. But supposedly they have. Uh, oh, what did he say? 600 and some odd panels that need to be hauled here. They'll be coming from Ontario, Sudbury, they'll be coming from Edmonton, they'll be coming from Calgary. They're coming from every major CP yard that is available, so. We got uh, four trucks sitting here, so, and we're only five panels a pop, so. We got a little ways to go if we can stay on this for the remainder of this action. You know, get a couple loads out of that it would be alright with me. It's not the time of the year I like to be coming down here, but we'll make it work one way or another. It wasn't too bad. And uh, we got... The worst part is further down the line. And it's washed out, so you're not going that way anyways. Can't remember what it said, but they have a lot of washouts. 16 washouts they had to deal with so it's pretty major then we'll just sit here and What's going on? Is that wind? burn up our data bridge hauling done a few of those kind of sketchy you got to make sure you put softeners on those corners when you put that sling on that bridge we used to have a round pipe that was uh, cut out so it would slide on that piece of angle iron because when your sling goes around the ear and around the front of that bridge it will cut right through that sling especially like an 80 foot like they're talking any of those bridges just the way they're designed so you slurp them on you get them out to the bush you pick them up with the bed and then you tailboard it over the top of the creek and then the hole reaches out grabs one side and you back up together orchestrated and then you just pop her into place and the hoe can kind of drag it and then they build up the gravel ramp to each side of the bridge I remember that was one of the many jobs I did at Cooper Barging when I first started it was pretty sweet so we'll check back in a bit boss is like well if you're gonna be there you could be days could be weeks we'll get you a hotel room so I just phone Lined up a bit of a hotel room and we'll uh, see how she goes. Got yourself a Brant trailer I see there. BC Special. Short, jump jeep, try. We're pretty new. Alright, well, we'll check back in a bit. It's go time. Well, we're gonna move up to Cash Creek anywhere to a place called Spence Bridge. So they're like, yeah, everybody come here now, immediately. Let's go, hurry up. Like, okay, I'm on it.
is a sports lorry. Straight six, rear wheel drive, twin exhaust, BMW 325i and this. Almost identical.
far easier than doing that. Roll up, unpin, see you later, bye bye. Fraser River. We're just at kind of the tip of the. Hell's Gate is down there. I don't know how far it is down there, but I remember I stopped there once when I was a kid. Well, I guess I wasn't a kid. I was like 14. But it's down there. Fraser Valley. So this is the old highway. Must have been exciting to try because you had to, uh, yeah, I don't even know. Looks poopy. There's a bunch of rock. Of, I don't know, that's massive boulders to fill the void. We got another train just went underneath us as we showed up there. It was all full of rail. Drop off these pre made panels. Got a lot of BC for it. A lot of things. I feel like I'm in Montana. Parts of Montana. Hey, Myron, this kind of looks like some of the photos and pictures you post. On. We'll see how far we get. And we're gonna go through the poopy stuff in the dark again. Don't know how far we'll make it. It's a bit of a jaunt, but we're bobtail, which is also dangerous if it's slippery because I'm aggressive and I might do some drifting. And still, speaking of that, that Dalton's truck that was hauling that rock truck there, that's shitty news. Hope he's alright. Sucks. They got some real nice stuff, but hopefully everybody's all right. You can always rebuild the truck or buy a new one. Carry on, and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. We'll, uh, if I see anything interesting, we'll try to keep the footage down to a minimal because we've already got so much. This is like mostly a driving video because there wasn't a whole lot of work involved, so. those tunnels last night it almost made me go deaf. Damn, that was loud. Well, they're so low, right? So it's, I had both windows down and it was wound right out because it's kind of an incline. Yeah. But yeah, we can't go home that way. We got to go out to radium and then back around. So that adds like an extra, be like an extra hour and a half. And that highway, is that 95 or this, I think it's 95, can be horrible, it's called the Kokanee Pass or something and it can be real bad. Leaving radium is kind of cool because it's got like this bit of a rock tunnel, so that's cool to see, but unfortunately it will be dark, I'll try not to rub my stacks on it. Alright, it's rally time.
bad slide to the old space as we have probably splattered us and we're all waiting for here.
to show you when I was grabbing my trailer, but I must have fell asleep with the camera on. It was dead this morning. I plugged it in. And if you're using it, like I was recording that sunrise, it uh, won't charge past what it is. It'll work and stuff, but it was, I showed up there. I'm like, oh, I gotta pull over and put the camera on the back. And I took it off 1%. I'm like, well, that will not last. So yeah, we had to go back to that yard and pick up the trailer. Now we got grossness. Time to give Frank a bath. Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada. 